Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has officially released iOS 14.3 to the masses. This massive update includes a ton of new features, tweaks, and optimizations. And we got a lot to talk about. So without wasting your time, let's go ahead and dive into what is new with iOS 14.3. Starting out with the most breaking news, and that is that iOS 14.3 will be launching to include support for Apple's new AirPods Max. So these are their new over-the-ear headphones launching on December 15th, but shipping dates have already slipped well into 2021 for these pretty amazing new headphones. They use Apple's H1 chip, offer noise canceling, uh, hear through or uh, transparency mode to hear your surroundings, a bunch of other awesome features in this design. So those guys are launching on December 15th and they will require iOS 14.3 to operate. And on December 14th, Apple is launching its uh, Apple Fitness Plus program. So Apple Fitness Plus will also require iOS 14.3. So this big update is going to include support for both of those new products. So Apple's new hardware product and Apple's new service product, both of those coming with 14.3. For users of Apple's latest devices like the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, we see support in iOS 14.3 for Apple ProRaw. So Apple ProRaw is its new high-end imaging format that allows you to combine the benefits of shooting in RAW, such as additional detail and highlights and shadows, as well as all the benefits of its computational photography. So things like Smart HDR and Deep Fusion. So Apple's bringing both of those worlds together for its Pro Raw format. Now, Apple Pro Raw will be supported in the native camera app out of the box. You can enable it by going into settings, looking at camera, and then going into the format menu. You can enable it there. Then while shooting in the camera app, there'll be a little toggle in the upper corner where you can disable or enable it for each individual shot as you choose. And then once you shoot anything in Apple Pro Raw, there'll be a raw indicator in the Photos app, similar to an HDR shot in the upper left-hand corner. And there's a new image gallery type. So we have ones for video or uh, you know, animated, anything like that, but there's now a new one for ones that are shot in the Apple Pro Raw format. So you have all those features coming to Apple Pro Raw. This is also enabled for third parties. So third party camera apps, such as the amazing Moment app, the Moment Pro app, or the uh, Halide camera app, both of those and as well as many others are likely to take advantage of Apple Pro Raw as quickly as they can. So expect updates coming from those apps and more right away to enable support for Apple Pro Raw in their own third party apps. There's also a new option to record video at 25 frames per second. When it comes to Apple shortcuts with iOS 14.3, there is a new option, or I guess I should say a returned option to set your wallpaper for both the lock screen and the home screen. This was a previous feature that Apple stripped it away. So it is returned here in 14.3. 14.3 also enables you to launch shortcuts from your home screen without first launching the shortcuts app. Use this small compact UI, which you can also kind of get rid of, but it allows you to create your own custom icons for apps add them to your home screen and theme it as you'd like. And then when you launch them, instead of going to the shortcuts app first and then launching the app, it'll just launch the app right away. It works much nicer. And I know a lot of you are very excited about this. There are a bunch of other minor changes as well coming at 14.3. The app clips code scanning feature. These are just code to launch app clips that was not working before in 14. Apple just didn't launch the feature yet. That is included here. HomeKit now allows you to run updates for third party devices through the home app instead of launching those third party apps once developers add support for that at least. Uh, and there's also granular options to automatically enable or to automatically download updates to your home pods, very handy. Ecosia is a new browser option in Safari alongside things like Google or Yahoo or any of those. If you use Apple News, there's a new subscriber edition insignia in that top right hand corner. The text is also smaller as to not cut off text in a lot of the different uh, headlines. We have new links inside of Apple News audio stories and the Apple News audio page has been updated to include a more granular sections. So you can go by subject to pick and choose the audio that you want to listen to. 
The Apple Music app was updated a little bit. There's new animated artwork for albums. There is a cardio fitness category inside of the health app. So you can monitor the cardio fitness as well as VO2 max inside of the health app now. We also saw some updates to the TV app on iOS. Pretty minor changes, making the UI a little bit more in line with the music app on iOS. We saw some adjusted color tints, some color uh, change on buttons. We saw an updated search page that more again matches the music app. Some minor things along those lines. But that pretty much covers it. Honestly, that is a lot to pack into one update here. I mean, we have full support for AirPods Max. We have support for Apple Fitness Plus. We have updates to the health app. We have shortcut changes. We have HomeKit updates through the Home app. We have Apple Pro Law, Pro Raw launching on the iPhone 12 lines. Just a ton of stuff that is packed into this update. Now, go ahead, download this right now. Let me know over on Twitter what you think. Once you've got it installed, you can find me at Andrew underscore OS you.